add on stuff? Did you? <laughs> no, I don't really think we needed to do that. Um, she, she, I mean, I was uh, definitely wasn't. Uh, Bri Bri's right here. Rich, hello. It is the the bell of the ball right here, Captain Marvel. My goodness, Brie here Larson. She is. I I just need to say to you, you two incredibly brilliant, powerful women standing up here right now. You are between the U.S. Air Force and the best fans in the whole wide the world. Fans. Of the best character, what what does this moment feel like for you? I don't know if I'm just tired, but I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Let it out, girl. Yeah, it's been a couple of years of working on this movie, and so this is really moving me. She's got the wig and everything. Oh my gosh. It's really cool. Oh my gosh. It, it really is so beautiful, and I see that beautiful shared experience with so many people. Uh, what? What has Carol meant to you? Because she means a lot to me, and I know she means a lot to so many people here. I mean, Carol changed my life, and this movie hasn't even come out yet. Just uh, in particular, getting strong and learning how to stand my ground and own myself and um, value my voice. Those are things that I learned from her. So I'm excited to share her with the world. And the fans, I mean, they, they meet, Carol means so much to them, and it must mean a lot to you to see. Do you, um, have you heard from people as you're just walking down the street, people saying what, what the character means to them? And, you know, have they shared a little bit of their Carol love with you? Only in moments like this. I haven't, like, walked down the street that much. We've been, like, everywhere in the world right now. Well, you walked down this street, Hollywood yeah, Boulevard. This, yeah, whatever this is, this street that we've shut down. <laughs> um, these have been the moments where I, I, I've realized, like, that this is a, an important symbol. And it, like I said, she changed my life, so I'm excited to see what she can do to the rest of the world. I love seeing you up here together. I think it's such a wonderful kismet that you guys are here right now. I would love to know what Carol loves about Maria and what Maria loves about Carol. Go on, Bray. <laughs> Easy question. She's fierce. She's so smart and capable um, and an incredible mother. And they have an incredible... Um, competitiveness, but it's a playful competitiveness because they know that they're equals at the end of the day. And that's what I love. Um, she is honest with herself and with Maria. She is truthful to what she believes in. She fights for what she wants. She's crazy talented, Brie and Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and um, She's just all around badass, and that's because she's a full-on modern-day woman. She's just a normal woman with incredible superpowers, both in her heart and both in her hands. And I do think that is such a true superpower, the, the great heart that you both bring to the screen. We were talking about this earlier before you yeah. walked up, but the military women here, yeah. um, they're a real inspiration. And I wanted you to talk a little bit about uh, your meetings. You met, obviously, with the first female fighter pilot in the, in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. And uh, talk about uh, those encounters and how they inspired you. And uh, they're actually here tonight. Yeah. I got General Levitt's here and Kazi, who actually took me up in the plane. Uh, she's here tonight, too, along with some of the other women that I met while I was there. Uh, it was a game changer for me because I had read the comics and Carol's like fierceness and her wit and also despite her being at times cocky, her humbleness too, all I thought was her and then when I went to the Air Force I realized that that's, that's the spirit of the Air Force inside of her. I love that. Well, thank you both so much for talking with us. We, we can't steal all your time, but we would if we I could. Do have, I have one question that I forgot to ask, but I want to. Senator Martha McSally, Republican of Arizona, had a question for you. Okay. And that's, she wanted to ask about the training that you went through and what you learned about military life through that training. Um, what was the most intense and meaningful part of it? And, you know, what was the, what was the best part? It requires a complete dedication, and you have to really put your priorities towards it, and you really learn what you're made of. It changes your mind completely. Um, I've been very open about the fact that I'm, I'm an introvert, um, I have asthma, and I was able to put, push myself further than I ever thought possible, and I, don't, I think the reason why I'm able to like stand here and be the person that I am is through that training and through the teachers that I had. I had such great teachers on this. Wonderful. Incredible. Well, wow. thank you, ladies, so much. Enjoy the carpet. This thank is your you. night. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
I literally have food like that. It's our prom. <laughs> it's their prom, of course. Thank well, you so much, ladies. have a great prom. Thank you. Enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You know, that's something that I love about this film is that Carol and Maria's relationship is so important to the film. It's really, it does have a, a large element of friendship that I think is so important. And I think it's one of those unique relationships in comics too, where you see a strong female friendship that's supportive, that is uh, more and more the way these stories are being told, but they haven't been told that way uh, for many, many years. So it's really exciting to see it reflected on the big screen.